Hello again everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Crystal, nice to meet you. Um, in today's video I am going to be doing what has been requested of me for quite some time now from various people. Um, I'm going to be doing a simple eye look consisting of three to four colors depending on how I'm feeling today I guess. For this look I'm going to be using the Morphe 15B Brunch Babe eyeshadow palette which I got in my BoxyCharm for March. If you didn't get this palette in your BoxyCharm or you don't get BoxyCharm, it is available on Morphe's website for $16 and I'm pretty sure there's coupon codes out there that you can use for like 10% off. I know code Janes gets 10% off of almost everything almost all the time. So if all else fails, just use James as your coupon code and you'll get 10% off. Again, $16 at Morphe's website. Now I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time talking on here like I usually do, I think. I think I talk a lot. Because I wanna show more of the blending and the application process because that's what has been requested. So to start off, I am just going to take the IT Cosmetics Absolute Eyeshadow Shadow Brush. You don't have to have this brush, obviously. Just a fluffy, small eyeshadow brush will do. I guess the first thing I should've done is shown the palette. So this is the 15B eyeshadow palette. It's got some nice little neutrals and some pinks in there, and I'm just going to go for a very neutral look today because that's usually what I do. I'm going to start with, oops, hello desk. I'm gonna start with this shade right here, and I'm going to apply that in my crease area and then up towards my brow bone. This is what, if you hear someone calling a transition shade, that's what this would be. And for this, all I'm doing is I'm just very lightly dipping into that and then tapping off the excess. You can't see it, but actually you can see powder up here. Anyway, tapping off the excess and then gently, ooh, look at that, see already? That's why you tap off the excess. And then windshield wiper motion back and forth, back and forth, and then, you know, some circular motions in there, just to make sure you get it blended out. Now, as you can see, what I did on camera, I didn't do anything extra outside of that. I just used what I had on that brush that one time, dipping into the pan, and then tapping off the excess, and then blending, blending, blending. Like, that's all that I did. I did not add any more product to that, and that's what I have there. Now, it may not look like a lot, but it's not supposed to look like a lot unless you were doing a dramatic eye. However, as I said in this, it's going to be pretty basic and straightforward for a beginner. One of the main mistakes that people make when they're applying eyeshadow is they tend to use like too much product right off the bat. They'll pack their brush full and then pack it on there and then it just, it doesn't blend out properly or they don't spend enough time blending what they actually have on there so it looks kind of patchy. It's heavier in some spots, not in others. So what I do, my preference is, and again, I'm not like a super professional here. I do makeup for me and what I feel works for me. Um, other people might tell you differently, but for, but for me, I use minimal to start with and then I build up if I feel that I want more color than what I have on there. Because it's just, it's easier to add to something than to take something away that's already on your face. Anyway, moving forward. So after I have my transition shade down, I would take um, a darker shade and I'm going to go with this one right here. And I use that to darken up my crease and then the outer corner. Before <laughs> before I do that, I just wanted to address something in case anybody's wondering why I only take that first shade from like the crease, a little below the crease and up, is because again, with like something as simple as this, I don't want to use that shade down here because I'm going to use a lighter shade on my inner corner and I'm gonna be covering up that outer corner and the crease with a darker shade anyway. So basically just be wasting shadow that you don't need to waste and darkening an area that you may want a lighter color on. So anyway, moving forward. So now, for the crease, I am going to take a fluffy crease brush and I will show you how I dip into the pan. Here we go. I just lightly dip into it. Nah, there's not much on there, so I'll dip into it a few more times. Tap off the excess and then just start right on the outside corner and look at that already. It doesn't look like there was a lot on the brush, but clearly there was. And start at the outer corner because that's where you want the most pigment and then work your way towards Sorry, my phone. Towards your inner corner, just in the crease to start with. Again, I'm not picking up any more pigment. 
as of right now, I am just working with what I have on there already. That way it blends in nicely to that transition shade without a harsh line. I do little circles and windshield wiper motion. And for the next step, now that I have my crease darkened, I'm going to take that same color that I just used, but with a smaller, more compact brush. As a note, if you're newer to makeup or you don't really understand brushes, the tighter, flatter brushes are for packing on the shadow, and then like the fluffier brushes like this one are for blending it out. So I'm taking the tighter, smaller brush. It looks like it has the red pigment on it from the Blood Sugar palette, but it is clean. I it's just stained from that pigment because that, sh that palette is very pigmented. So again, I'm just gonna tap into there, tap off the excess, and then apply it starting from the lash line up, and there's not a lot there, so I'm just gonna dip in again and do that same thing and just cover like the outer half-ish of that eye. Now that I've packed that color on there, I don't want to take a whole lot off, but I am going to take that first fluffy brush that I used and just lightly buff out any excess that could be on my lid and blend it a little bit more into the crease and then move on to the next step. <laughs> the next step and kind of the final four shadow would be taking Again, my preference, taking a shimmer, like a light colored shimmer and putting it on the inner corner to like halfway and blending that into that darker corner, the darker outside corner. And for that, I'm going to take this shimmery shade. It's like a champagne-y kind of color. I do like it. I almost use this one, but I think I'm gonna use that for highlight. So for shimmers, shimmers apply best with a finger usually, unless they're like specially formulated for brushes, but it's always, shimmers always show up better using your finger than they do a brush. So I'm just dipping my pinky and then I'm starting not all the way in the center, or not all the way in the corner, but mostly. And I dipped in again and I am just using my finger to kind of blend that into that darker color. Again, always start with the minimal product and you can build up as that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I totally lied. I said that was the last step. It's not the last step um, for eyeshadow anyway. Next, what I would usually do is just take that same darker color and that same shimmer and put it approximately in the same location on my bottom lid as I did my top lid. So I'm gonna do that right now and then come back. For that lower lash line, I just used a tight, small, kind of fluffy brush, not super fluffy, just a, a small detailed brush for that lower lash line. Now I am going to take that shimmery white and oops, that one right there and highlight the inner corner, which all you do is take a little bit of pigment and then pop that right on that inner corner and blend it into the shadow that is already on your lid. And then finally, I'll just throw some eyeliner on my water lines and then some mascara and then I'll come back for the final the final look. <laughs> so this is the final eye look. I just used some CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Which this used to be my go-to mascara since I was like 17, 18, 19, and I hadn't used it in forever. And then I was walking down the Target aisles one day and I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't used this in forever. So I bought it again many years later and I tried it again. I'm like, I don't know why I stopped using this stuff because it's fantastic. I love it and doesn't transfer and it's affordable. So yeah, CoverGirl Lash Blast. I've been using this for years, off and on, I should say. Anyway, yeah, the eyeshadow, this is a, a simple yet pretty eye look that I would use like for a beginner. Um, again, it's very straightforward, three colors, well, four, including the highlight on the inside. You don't have to use this palette, although this palette is the 15B Brunch Bay palette from Morphe, and you can get it on their website again, $16, and I think Code James probably used, gets you 10% off, so $1.60 off of that. Anyway, um, there's a lot of neutral eyeshadow palettes out there. I'm sure there's some at the drugstore you can get for probably like six bucks or something. I know BH Cosmetics has cheap stuff too. I shouldn't say cheap, affordable, because this I would consider affordable slash cheap, although it's $16. You get my point. <laughs> I won't get into it, you get my point. But 
With this, I think it's a good place to start if you're new to eyeshadow and using eyeshadow and you can experiment with different colors with this kind of same technique like using a light shade for your transition and darker shade of whatever color in your crease in the outer corner and then a light shimmer on the inside. You can use that with basically any kind of color, like blues, reds, purples, anything. That same kind of scheme you can use for any color. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions, as always. Um, let me know what you like, what you didn't like. If you still have questions about anything in particular when it comes to makeup or beauty or anything really, um, comment below. Tell me what you would like to see next. I love hearing suggestions and that, cause it, that way I just know that you guys would find this interesting and want to watch it, if that makes any sense without sounding so desperate. <laughs> Not that I'm desperate, I just, I would like to have, you know, videos, aside from me just actually, like, aside from me loving makeup and just playing with it and having a, I just, I love it so much. I love makeup. Let me know, you guys, like, what you want help with. Um, I'm not, like, a super professional that's been doing this for, like, 20 years or anything, or, you know, a celebrity makeup artist by any means, but I think I'm good for a beginner. Yeah, there's more, so my... <laughs> some random eyeshadow on the back of my hand. Anyway, all right, enough jibber-jabber. Um... Thank you all for watching and as always, I will see you next time. Bye!